I really want to do a recipe using fish. And I heard there's some mackerel close by. So we're going to take a road trip. And I want you to join me as we go fishing. And hopefully we're going to cook our catch. Look at this scenery. Look at the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. We're going to drive about 40 minutes and we're going to get to the ocean, to the Atlantic Ocean, because we live in Eastern Canada. And this is an incredible view. I grew up in a community of 150 people right along the ocean, right along the salt water. Anytime I wanted to go fishing, the opportunity was there. Anytime I wanted to go on the wharf with my rod, it was an amazing experience as a child be able to fish anytime I wanted to and today is no different we're headed to the wharf we're going to see what we can catch and hopefully we're going to catch some mackerel because I want to really do a good recipe and hopefully we'll see some tuna because the rumors are the tuna is in chasing the mackerel there's also a shark been sighted as well who knows what we'll see today but this is an incredible experience to be able to show you my kind of life, what I do in my spare time. We finally made it to the wharf. Look at the view. We are surrounded by these amazing mountains. One of the best views I've ever seen. So relaxing, so peaceful. Just cast out your line. No worries, no stress. It didn't take me long. I hooked the fish. Unfortunately, not a mackerel, and it's not a pretty fish at that. It's a scopelin. Scopelin lives at the bottom of the ocean and is basically scavengers. Does amazing work for our ecosystem. Look at that fish. I'm going to toss it back. Got to watch the thorns. It has a lot of thorns up around its head, so grab it by the tail. Toss it back in the ocean. And look at this fish. Do you know what that is? This was an amazing sight. First time I seen one up close. It's a tuna. It's in after the mackerel. And it was amazing to see it up close. Wow. Guess what I got now? I got a mackerel. <laughs> Finally got one. Look at that. Finally get to do a nice recipe. Unfortunately, that's the only one I got tonight. As the sun starting to set. Guess what? We're going to head home. And I'm going to try to do a nice recipe. Lots of herbs, lots of spices, with some lemon. Look at a beautiful scenery. So peaceful. Not a cloud in the sky. Look at that. Gotta love where I live. I hope you enjoyed that introduction and seeing some of the beautiful scenery that I have in my backyard. It's only about 40 minutes away from where I live right now. But I grew up alongside the ocean, another part of the island than what we've seen today. And this is Miss Maya. She's getting tired. It's getting late. So she came in to see me. So we're going to start with this beautiful recipe. I'm going to use the mackerel that we caught today, but you can use other type of fish. This is a very simple and easy recipe with lots of delicious spices. The ingredients I have here is for a bigger fish than what I actually caught. So we're going to add a quarter cup of parsley. We're going to add a teaspoon of coriander spice. If you want to use the cloves of garlic, go right ahead and use three large cloves, but I'm going to use a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we have a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of dill. Get all your spices all mixed in. We're going to take a lemon, slice it up, because our lemon's going to lay on top of our fillets. I'm just going to use a cookie tray. We're going to pay Place our fillets right on the tray. You could have used a full fish if you wanted to, but I wanted to use the fillets. Let's use some avocado oil. And I want to do it on the underside as well. Let's put our lemon. It only needs a couple slices, small fillets. Oh, it smells great already. We're going to fold this over. I'm 
just going to seal everything together in a nice packet. We have the oven set for 350 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. My oven's going to need about 35 to 40 minutes. We're going to try 35 first. This fish should turn out absolutely perfect. We're going to open this and hopefully it's fully cooked. And then for 35 minutes. Very hot. Let's have a look. It smells incredible. It smells incredible. Look at that. Wow! I think these spices would actually be perfect with salmon and even trout. Next time, I'm going to use a full fish and stuff it. But these spices, I really enjoy the flavor and the taste of this beautiful recipe. Slow carb, keto friendly, sugar free, add those spices to any fish you want. It's the first time I've used coriander spice, and it's the first time I've heard of it, and it's absolutely perfect for fish. And this is a recipe I'm going to be trying with other fish. It's delicious. It's a way to get your fish in. If you're not crazy about flavor or you like to change it up, this is definitely a herb and spice recipe I think you would enjoy. The lemon makes a huge difference. If you enjoyed this recipe, please check out my other recipes. Right over here, we have a beautiful sweets and desserts and snacks. Lots of low-carb, keto-friendly recipes. No sugar added, and we'll see you in our next video.